Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Yum Tiki episode 51. It's been a little while, I know, I was I was quite lazy in getting this episode up. Um, but I have been playing it, I've been doing my homework, and it's not been in vain at all. Trust me, I've found some pretty cool shit. Um, which is kind of why I spent so much time getting those effects in the last video. Um, Fuck, I need to get the piggy bank. There might be money in there. Good. Right. We don't need that, but we might as well. It's um, it's kind of important. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look here. Look at all these effects. We now are down to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Is that right? One, two, six effects in the game. Um... No, I can't count. Seven effects. We've got seven effects to go, and that's it. So I lied when I said um, we were going to finish the game in um, 50 episodes, but that's fine. I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a liar. You can, you can just um, assume that anything I say from this point out is is not true. So what are we going to do? We're going to, oh dear, we're going to we're going to see some things today. Assuming we have time, I think we can manage it all. Um, how far can we get before we need the lantern? I reckon we can get pretty far. So yeah, this is what you tuned in to see, right? Some, some darkness and a, a barely visible Urotsuke on a motorcycle. Kawaii desu ne. Shit, that's the wrong one. There we go. Good. Um, so yes, we we were here before. This was where we we found that um, that cockerel through this uh, little chamber here. But the the cockerel's not terribly important. I do kind of like this area, but uh, oh fuck, I was thinking so. Um, I don't quite know what the uh, no the developers really want to do with it. Because there's tons of stuff here. Yes. Right, this is what we're looking for. What was that noise? I said that last time. Uh, right. Well, I, I guess we could have a look around very quickly. He's wiggling his feet. That's, that's kind of adorable. I don't know what he's doing, mind you. Um... Yeah, whatever. Right, let's let's just get to the meat of this. We're not gonna fanny around, cause um, yeah, we are gonna fanny around, cause that's the wrong effect. So is that? Oh dear, this one. Good. Up. So you can do that at a few places in the game, and this one's kind of special because it makes you into a, a sprite character thing. And what we're gonna do? So we're going to go in here. If I turn the bat, if I'll do that, just just because um, it shows off the effect screen. The effect screen looks very different here. And to be honest, I wish it was like this all the time. Look at how helpful this is. Look at how useful this is to actually be able to see little pictures of everything. Let's go in here. So this here is kind of 8-bit. Um, but funnily enough, this isn't the only 8-bit area in the game, and the other... Or sorry, 8-bit. I say it, but it's not It's not necessarily 8-bit. It's not the only bit in the game that has this kind of thing going on, where things are, you know, kind of low res graphics. There is another area that has something very similar. God, that's an annoying noise. Um, but it's all monochrome. And... Um, I'm pretty sure it's different, it's different sprites and different tiles. It, it looks totally different. Um, and I'm sure I'll demonstrate that at some point. It's, it's a job for another day. We'll, we can only take so much um, pixelated goodness in one sitting. Oh, do you have to keep doing that? So yeah, this witch is trying to um, stomp us with a block, I suppose. Um, but we're just we're amazing at this. All that playing World of Tanks has... Um, made me just undefeatable, unfallible. Get out of the way. I don't want you. 
Do 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 do. Let's go. Okay. What's that? Let's touch it. I think that's meant to be us. Judging by the shirt. Kind of an eerie theme in this this room here. No, it's not as eerie as some of the stuff we're going to see. So yeah, there's a few things we could do here. Um, both of them are, are quite good, but for the sakes of the fact that I don't particularly want to do all this again right now, we're going to do one of them because it will not interfere too much. So do you remember this thing? This thing's pretty much useless for everything. Um, it's out for here. So when we use it here make a funny noise, and we turn into the witch character, which I guess is maybe meant to be some kind of throwback to the original game. It just says question mark down there, but, you know, it could say whatever it wants. It could say, um, you're amazing, you're an amazing Let's Player, you know, thank you for playing this game, but it, it, it doesn't. Let's go through here. You might recognize this music. We, we've heard this before. This is um apparently this is called the 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 daily toy box. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty buggy and it's pretty pretty weird. I'm not sure what the developers are intending with this. It, it, it's kind of cool. There's not a lot we can really do here except for we can kill this guy. I mean, it wouldn't be a day out if we couldn't chainsaw something, right? can't chainsaw that guy. It's a shame, I mean, the smiley face wasn't bothering me. This guy is. This dead moon. The moon is dead. You can see there's sort of areas over to the side. Apparently this area is going to have like loads more stuff in it, but not at the moment. So we're going we're gonna to get out of here. Fun, but um, not that fun. That and we've got other stuff we want to check out, which is um, which is very cool. I'm not sure I like the music here very much though. It's it's quite um quite sharp. I need to maybe turn that down a bit. Um, in yes, good. Right now we are in. I don't know. This is kind of like uh. What's that game called? Balloon? We'll call it Balloon Game. And there's a ship up there that's floating with balloons, which I guess um, is appropriate. It'll fade out. We, we can't really do anything with it, which I'll explain in a moment. You'll also notice that our effect's kind of bugged to the witch, even though we're not dressed up as the witch. I don't know, this this area seems like the kind of bit that's um, under construction. Hello there. So, just for pathos, I'll show you where we are. We are currently inside a gigantic apple. Look at that apple. Doesn't it look delicious? Except for the cracks. Um, we're not really... There's not a lot I want to do here. We could um, harass that guy there, but uh, that's not very nice of us. I mean, we just kind of landed in his home. I think we should um, just piss off, really. We could go and leave there, and it would take us to the um, the jungle area. But we've seen that area to death, so let's go down here instead. Splash! Swimming in the pool. So this is this is kind of cool. I, I like this area's theme. It's kind of a maze. I, I don't know, you would need to... I mean, I, I'm not very good at mazes, but I managed to figure this out pretty quickly. You see this um, gigantic pencil sandworm tower thing here, just kind of bursting out from the, the sea floor. But we, we can't interact with that at the moment. But we can go around the side of this gigantic face. 
Um, which, for some reason, when I saw that, it reminded me of um, LSD Dream em Emulator, where you have the giant face. We could go down the bottom there, but um, I, it's an area I've been meaning to show off, but I've been putting it off because I, I just don't like it. It's this Dream Beach area. I've been there quite a few times, and it's just an endless source of disappointment in my books. Maybe a bit unfair of me, but, you know. Tough shit. Look how small we are. I don't understand how that works. Mm, I'm drinking cider. So this room. I don't know what it is about this this area. Um, I'll explain some of what's going on here. I, I Some of the, the areas in the game seem to have more of a significance to the... the um, I guess the plot than other bits of the game. And this is, I guess, one of them because it shows some bits about the character and it shows, more importantly, a thing that is not finished. Apparently this will fill in based on viewing certain events and I would I would hate to think that because I've had to pick this game up again, I've lost a lot of my progress in filling this thing and it's probably what, what's happened, so... Um, we might never see what that is, <laughs> other than a bunch of yellow boxes, but, um, yeah, tough shit. Can I get rid of this fucking penguin effect? I don't really want it. Um, let's go to bed. This bed looks inviting. You can see there's a kind of rabbit sitting up in that mobile thing. Why don't we slowly pan up this gigantic tower? This enormous tower. This massive tower. to see ourselves watching ourselves. How spooky is that, right? Well, not very. Um, let's do that again. I, I enjoyed it so much I want to do it again. That it gives me a chance to drink some more cider. Um, I do know that you can change the specifics of this event very slightly using different effects, which I don't have. Um, so we might need to make a, a trip back here at some point. But it's not a big thing. Um, Lord knows there's bigger things I want to do in the game than, than this. Let's do it again! We've now got a very special effect. It's called the Old Woman Effect. As you can see, we're, we're moving it four times the normal speed. And we have all the advanced old woman powers available, i.e. we do nothing at all. We can just kind of hobble around. You'll also notice that kind of rabbit is um, is black. I don't know, I, I guess um, in her old age she became more um, of an equal opportunity. That was a surprise. I, I thought that was meant to fade out. I didn't realise it was just going to suddenly do that. Now, you'll notice the screen's fading out. But before it does, we are going to wake up and pay close attention because you might notice we're on top of the bookcase again. So yes, that was that. A nice little area, I have to say. Quite quite enjoyed that. I'm going to save just because we, we did some things there, including unlock a wallpaper. Um, episode 51. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>